So today I'm actually going to show you how to look up a life policy for a deceased uh, family member. What you need to do is head over to NAC.org and that's N-A-I-C.org. As you can see, here's the home screen. Click over to consumer because you are a consumer. Okay, so click on that. Next, we're actually going to scroll down, okay? And it says Life Insurance Policy Locator. Go ahead and click on that. Now, you're going to have to create an account. Because I already have an account, it says Update Account. But for those who do not have an account, you would just simply create a new account. So, this is the information that you would include, your email address. Type it again your first name, last name, and then create a password. Then press continue. It will send you a code via email for you to insert back on the screen here to verify that it's actually you. Once you do that, give it five minutes so that way they can update your uh, new account in their system, all right? But once you do that, you're able to log back in. Now you're able to submit a new request. So as you can see here, enter the deceased person's information from the death certificate. So you will need that death certificate, okay? All fields are required except the legal middle initial and legal suffix. So if you don't have the third or the fourth, that's okay. Also, if you don't have the middle initial, that's okay. But this is information that is required. So you will need to know the nine digit social security number, the date of birth, the date of death, okay, the first legal name of the person, also the legal last name of the person. Again, this is optional, and this right here is also optional. Uh, the descendant is a, vet, is a veteran. You need to say yes or no, okay, are they? Uh, and if so, that's great. If it's unknown, you can type unknown. And then relationship to the deceased, okay? So are you attorney or legal representative, a child 18 and older of the deceased, the executor of the deceased, other relationship to the deceased or spouse of the deceased? Let's look at the other relationship, all right? You're gonna have to explain that. You're gonna have to type what that is so that way they can determine if you are authorized to receive this information. Once you have everything completed, you'll see everything should be green, then you'll be able to submit that request. As you can see here, let's go back here. It says, if a search request results in a match and you are identified as a beneficiary on the policy or contract, the company will contact you via the phone or email listed on your account. It may be 60 days or longer before responses are received. It shouldn't take that long. If you are in their system, they should reach out to you, um, but they do have uh, information here, a disclaimer saying that it could take 60 days or longer. So again, the best thing to do if you know someone in your family, you need to have that conversation with them before they pass away. Know where that life policy is located in their home. Know who the carrier is. Know how much the death coverage is for. Have that contact information on file. So any event someone does pass away, you can contact that carrier right away to get that death claim process started. But I wanted to show you in the event you do not have that information on file, there is a way for you to be able to locate that information. Just head on over to National Association of Insurance Commission.